This lecture will introduce the sample correlation coefficient denoted by the letter R. Looking at a scatter diagram to see whether a line best describes the relationship between the values of data pairs is useful. In fact, whenever you are looking for a relationship between two variables, making a scatter diagram is a good first step. However, the sample correlation coefficient is a mathematical measurement that describes the strength of the linear association between two variables, and the computational formula is shown here. Thus, the scatter diagram provides a qualitative visual description of the relationship between two variables, and the sample correlation coefficient describes a quantitative mathematical description of the relationship between two variables. There are four important properties of the correlation coefficient. First, R is a unitless measurement between negative 1 and 1. In symbols, negative 1 less than or equal to R less than or equal to 1. If R equals 1, there is a perfect positive linear correlation. If R equals negative 1, there is a perfect negative linear correlation. If R equals 0, there is no linear correlation. The closer R is to 1 or negative 1, the better a line describes the relationship between the two variables X and Y. This picture attempts to explain the property visually. As shown here, R equals negative 1 has a perfect negative correlation. And R equals positive 1 has a perfect positive correlation. R equals 0 implies no linear relationship. Any value between 0 and negative 1 implies a low, moderate, or high negative correlation, depending on the value. Any value between 0 and positive 1 implies a low, moderate, or high positive correlation, again, depending on the value, where 0 0.3 is a low correlation, 0 0.8 is a high positive correlation. The second property is that positive values of R imply that as X increases, Y tends to increase. Negative values of R imply that as X increases, Y tends to decrease. As shown here, for positive values, values greater than 0, as X increases, Y increases. And for negative R values, or R values less than 0, as X increases, Y decreases. The third property is that the value of R is the same regardless of which variable is the explanatory variable and which is the response variable. In other words, the value of R is the same for the pairs X, Y and the corresponding pairs Y, X. These graphs show the relationship between time spent swimming and pulse rate. The graph on the left shows pulse rate on the x-axis and time to swim on the y-axis. The graph on the right has the variable switch, so time to swim is on the x-axis and pulse rate is on the y-axis. In both cases, the calculated correlation coefficient r is the same at negative 0.75. The fourth and final property is that the value of R does not change when either variable is converted to different units. Going back to our pulse rate versus time spent swimming example, the graph on the left is using minutes and the graph on the right is using hours. The units do not matter because the, cal the calculated correlation coefficient is the same.